Well, welcome to a foggy Saturday morning here in North Carolina. We uh, had a lot of change in the weather the last few days. You know, it's been very, very cold here. Pond froze over, a lot of things like that going on. And then yesterday it warmed up to probably the high 50s, low 60s. And, and this morning it's already in the mid 50s already and a big change from what we've been having. So got a lot of rain coming in later today. So I was gonna get on up this morning. Got a few things I want to try to get to take care of. Got to work on the old four truck this morning. The old battery has finally give out on it. Sometimes cold weather kind of gets a battery if it's a little bit weak. And I've already charged this battery up a couple of times. And uh, this morning I came here to check it and it still won't start. So we're going to take the battery out of the old four truck this morning, run, get us another one in. Want to run by Lowe's and look at a few things there because I need to rebuild my pump house. I want to get an idea on some materials it's going to cost to build that. And I also want to look at a freezer locker. You know, about two weeks we had a date coming up for the calves. And, Got to have somewhere to put them when I get them back. So I want to go ahead and try to get my freezer lined up. I should have already done that probably, but I don't think there's or as in the short supplies that were before. And a few more little odds and ends this morning before the rain comes in. And uh, go ahead and start this morning with getting this battery out, I hope. It won't be too bad to take this old battery out of this truck. It's just pretty cut and dry. You got a cable on each end. You got your little thing here to hold the battery in place. So it won't take just a minute, we'll have it out. This would go a lot quicker if I had some sockets to take it off with, but I just, the old barn's got my sockets in it and I didn't want to drive our first time, I just wanted to get them, so we'll just do it with old ranches we got here to have. Uh. All right, that's all there was to it. Let's run town and get us another battery and see if we can get this thing started. All right, we made it back from town. We ended up going to Sam's. I stopped by Lowe's too to check on the the uh, freezers, but they didn't have any. The only thing they had was the uprights, and I'm looking at the chest type, so I had to go online and take a look for those. But while we're at Sam's picking up a few things, they actually had batteries too, batteries, tires, and all kinds of stuff like that. So uh, the battery here was $109. It was on sale, but I tell you what, it was cheaper than going to the regular parts store because they're like $180 at the parts store. So we picked us up a battery while we're there and uh, go and get it stuck in, see if it's gonna work. What are you doing? You wanna come help me? Don't get up in there too far now. No, don't get there too far. No, I, I, I. no you can't go up in there. You might get a bad habit. Yeah, stay out down there. What are you doing? You can't do that. You can't do that. You got to stay away from the trucks. You can't stay up under this truck. It'll get you. It'll get you. And I can't get the battery in if you keep jumping across my leg. Won't you go take a nap or something somewhere? Hmm. You go take a nap. All right, go on now. Go on, take a nap. Ah, no. You keep on, I'm gonna knock you in the head. I can't get nothing done with you in here in the way now. I got to hurry that ranger coming. He'll be here in a few minutes. Oh, you hurt me now. All right, now go on. Get, go on. the hardest cap I've ever seen trying to get off. Ah. 
No. Ah, stop it now. Get out. Cat. I'm gonna go lock in the barn if you don't quit. Now go on now. If you don't quit, I'm gonna go lock in the barn right now. now go on now. Now, where'd that piece go to? It don't matter. Lulu? There you go. Uh, it'll fire up every time now. It had a 590 cold cranking that battery in it. So uh, the 800 cold cranking that battery won't even, didn't cost any more money today. And it's about the same size battery. She's got more cranking amps. So I stuck the 800 cold cranking amps battery in there and it spins it over pretty quick. So I thought it would be good for a while now. Well, it's January 1st, 2023. And we just got back from church and it's pretty outside today. It's probably in the probably upper 50s, low 60s right now little bit of a breeze blow which is real pretty so we're gonna try the old blackstone out again today we're gonna try to cook some breakfast on it so we're gonna try to cook us some sausage and some eggs and maybe some pancakes if we get a chance so uh i'm about ready to eat Sausage is old. We'll come back in a little bit when it's a little more done. There we go. Breakfast is done. We got pancakes, fried eggs, and sausages, linked sausages. All right, well, there you go. We got some pancakes, sausage, and eggs all cooked on the Blackstone. And the sausage came from here, the eggs came from here, strawberry jelly came from here. We got strawberries from a neighbor that we hit pool covers the other day with. And uh, Kim and her mama made strawberry jelly. And of course, the pancake might have come out of a box, but Kim mixed it together. So everything we got here today is uh, grown right here. All right. I think we're going to eat.
So late yesterday afternoon, we went to a different Lowe's that's close to us, and they had a couple of freezers that was actually in the store on display. Talked to the guy there, and the one that we were looking at, they didn't have in stock, and didn't have it in anywhere in the district, wherever our district is here, and don't know exactly when they would ever get one. So we kept looking around, and they had, we got thinking about it. I wanted to get just one big freezer, can't find just one big freezer. So we kept looking around and we decided that we'd get two smaller freezers. But the ones that we looked at in the store, they'd already sold out of those, didn't know when to get any more in. So the guy said, let, let me go back to the back and look one more time, see what I got. So he goes back to the back, looks again, and he found them. He said, I got two back in the back. He says, the only ones I've got. He come back, told us what they were, and said, well, I guess that's gonna have to do. So we ended up buying two freezers. They're 16 cubic feet, the whirlpools. And with 16 cubic feet in each one, I think that'd be enough to give us plenty of room to put all our beef in when it comes back and probably gonna put a few vegetables and stuff out the garden next year anyway. I know it's a couple of weeks out before I need them, but I tell you what, freezers must be kind of hard to get right around here because I, online it said I could have them by the next day or maybe like a couple of weeks to have them, but got there in person, they didn't know exactly when they would ever come in. So anyway, ran this morning, got us a couple of these, and so now we're set to go, and I ain't got to worry about that anymore. Also, while we're out and about this morning, we had to run by trash supply and get some more shavings because the chicken coops need cleaning out today. And so we got us about six bags of shavings, and we're in line waiting to check out. There's a guy in front of us, he had a gift card, and he was getting his stuff done, and as he was getting ready to walk out the door, he turned and looked back at me and said, hey, he said, here and he threw the gift card on top of the shaving bag. I said, what in the world? He said, there's a few dollars left on that card. Go ahead and use it. So I tell you what, there's still some good people in this world. I didn't expect that this morning. It had to be just the right place at the right time, I reckon. But uh, I don't know who that fellow was, but I sure appreciate it. And like I said, it was $3.66 left on that card. So that, that at least paid for half a bag of shavings for us that we didn't have to buy. So we appreciate that. And uh, like I say, you never know when you're gonna run into somebody that shows you a little kindness. Are you cold? I am about to. Pee. I'm ready to get me something. I'm hungry. We need to get their savings out one more day. girls you got fresh new bedding plenty of food plenty of water got you some oyster shells in the pan over there and y'all should be good for the next few days they love those oyster shells Donkeys are smarter than cows. They've already gone through the gate there to come. Cows still trying to figure it out. Go on. They're like, you finished it here last time. <laughs> what was that? <laughs> All right, let's go feed them mills back there before they keep a hollering too. And we'll come back and get this other coop cleaned out. Daisy's finally decided to come around the gate. 
She ain't a herder. Eh? All here. Hey, Maggie. Oh, y'all ain't like. Sure is a lot quicker cleaning out a little small chicken coop with three roosters in it than it is that big coop at the house over there. <coughs> and if anybody knows anybody that would be interested in three fine looking roosters right there, just let me know. I really don't have a need for roosters right now. Uh, maybe down the road I might end up trying to uh, raise some old chicks myself. But right now, I think we'll go hard off on that. I may try to get some meat birds later on try to go that route see how that does first but there's three fine roosters right there if anybody's interested hey just send me a message let me know you can sure get a deal today because i may convert this back over to the uh small little i ain't gonna say hatchery but where we get the small chicks and raise them up to get big enough to put in regular coop so that's what i want to do this coop back here at the house but with these three fellas right here still here can't do that so again if anybody's interested let me know. Mm -hmm. nice if you had some of that foam stuff
first it's 80 bales of hay that'll get us through to the next cutting and uh i think that'll get us if not he's got a few more bales left over his place and we've got 10 bales left over from last year so we'll feed them first and uh i think the cow should be good the rest this winter <coughs> y'all doing People has been asking about Otis. Thought he might have run off, but no, he's still here. <coughs> Lord of mercy, that hay got in me. He's still here, fat as ever. He just don't get out and do a whole lot. He's lazy. But he's still hanging around. He's still doing good. I come around the barn the other day, and on the side by side, and I saw something fly from under the shelter, and I knew it was some kind of animal. I didn't know what it was, but it was a rabbit. And Otis was right behind him, and he swapped him on the back end one time. That Otis did a somersault in the air. But when he hit all four feet on the ground, it took off. And, of course, me on the side-by-side -side scared Otis, so he broke off the chase. But, yep, old Otis is still doing good. Fat as a butterball. That's one cat has got it made. Say, hey, Otis. I don't know if he's been and seen Lulu yet or not. He's probably been around, but... We just ain't seen them at the same time yet. Hey! <laughs> you watch that, old big boy. He's gonna get you. No big boy. Get her, Otis. <laughs> Trying to pull your ear. All right. This is my friendly little chicken. Thanks. He's just a good little chicken. buy that rest of them around here every animal we got just need about turn into a pet you talking to him yeah don't speak cheeky cheek <laughs> see you there you go I'll let you go there you go I guess it's gonna wrap up another video for us. We had a little bit longer weekend this weekend. Today's Monday, and uh, thanks, Lulu. And I was off today. Me and Kim were both off today, and got a few more things done. We got the old chicken coop cleaned out. Uh, went and got our freezers this morning. Went and got us some hay a while ago, so we should be good on that for the rest of this year, hopefully, until we have a next cutting anyway. But we got a lot of things done this extended weekend that we had. So that's going to wrap it up for us again this weekend. And we hope everybody has a happy new year. Hope the rest of this year is as good as the last couple of days have been for us. We've had some good days, got a lot of stuff done. And again, we appreciate you. Thanks for joining us. Please like, share, subscribe, tell your friends and neighbors. And uh, again, we hope that you come back and see us on the next video.